I know I'm not talking a lot through this period, which is probably a shock given how much I was talking earlier. But, you know, I'm just concentrating a little, sorry. Paying attention to what's going on. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, like I said, we're moving to the coast, which will be a good thing. <clears throat> and, uh, personally, I can't really wait. Um, because it's going to be a new environment, new chance, you know. <clears throat> I am, of course, familiar with the area. Um, you know, having grown up in Central Florida, I, uh, you, you don't grow up in Florida without being familiar with the beach. Uh, you just don't. Um, and even though I didn't grow up on the beach, you know, I, I was an hour away, so it's not like it was, you know, difficult to go uh, enjoy yourself at the beach. And there were a lot of times where me and whatever girl I was dating at the time, you know, while I was in high school, would just hop in the car and go out to Daytona, spend a couple of days playing in the, in the you know, in the surf over the weekend, um, and just generally having a good time. You know, uh, uh, the nature of teenagers being what it is. But, uh, you know, so, so it's going to be a pleasant time. And it's a good area. And there's some great amenities. And uh, it's not like the tourist situation can get any worse. What with us living uh, less than half an hour away from Disney World. Plus, like I said, I am really looking forward to uh, walking, along, walking along the, the beach, preferably with a dog. I like dogs. I'm a dog person. I'm a dog person much more than I ever was a cat person. So despite the fact that we have a cat now, you know, I'm, I'm still a dog person. Hope that didn't offend anybody. Now, I'm hoping that when I get done with this, whoops, I pushed the wrong, where is my, oh, there they are. I had misplayed my, misplaced my fingers and it wasn't working. I said that when I get done with this, um, the zookeepers will be able to walk across it. Because if not, this habitat's going to get messy. This works. High amounts of litter. Yes, I'm sure there are.
Okay, now here comes the test. Let's put a barrier, uh, barrier gate. Um, I think we'll put it here. And then we will get a path together. We're going to make this four meters, just like it should be. Just like that. And just for the sake of completionist, completionist, just for the sake of completion, oh please, we will put a keeper hut right here. Now we're not anywhere near finished with this habitat, obviously, but I wanted to get this done first. Um, for that matter, we'll go ahead and add a staff room right there. Now, okay, I do not have clouded leopards already in my inventory. That's okay. I know where to get them. All right, let's see. How about this gentleman and this young lady let's turn up the speed so that we can actually get to you know so that they actually deliver these these animals in a, a relatively simple time here we go okay so pause there we go now all right let's take a look at its traversable area Okay, as I suspected, this area here might be a problem because they can get up on these rocks. As for these areas, they can't get to those areas. So let's pause this again. I'm going to borrow some rocks. Let's let's re relocate this one tree. Okay. All right. Good reminder. You know what I forgot? I forgot to put the wind the glass windows in here. But that's all right. I can deal with it now. So they just crossed over into the other side uh, by way of the holes I left in the wall. I feel sheepish. But that's all right. That's all right. Okay, I need to remember not to put my fingers on the wrong keys because I keep doing that. You know, it's like, okay, yes, I need to move this direction. 
and I want to move to the right. Well, no, that's not the right button. That's that's the other button. Okay, let me get another drink of water. It's very warm in this room. <sighs> That's going to be bugging the crap out of me. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it. why it's behaving that way that's that's you know okay so after i fix my glass wall problem And start decorating this habitat. Because it does look like it's going to be traversable. And if it's traversable for the animals, it's traversable for the, uh, the humans, as long as the human doesn't have to climb. The zookeepers will not climb, but they will cross rocks and cross bridges and, and things like that. So that's cool. It'll, it'll work in that regard. Okay, now I bet that if we were to go back... ...and click the traversable space... How is that? Didn't I cover them all with... Yeah, here we go. There we go. That's a lot better. You see? That works. That looks good. Okay, let's see what we got as far as the terrain is concerned. We need uh, we need less long grass, more short grass. Believe it or not, this bridge counts as their their climbing uh, uh, enrichment. But I am going to give them more climbing because that's just not funny. Okay, let's bring this down some. Okay, now we got a little bit too much. Okay, there we go. Now we need some soil. Okay, soil is good. Everything is good. Uh, plant covered the lobster claw from South America. Yeah, okay, it doesn't like any of these. You know what? Too bad, buddy. All right. Um, that looks good.
Okay, I think I just brushed my mic, in which case I apologize. Was not my intention. It happens all the time, and it's always accidental. If I have any good cave blueprints. Savannah, small tropical. How small is small? I've seen absolutely, yeah, that's just way too big. I've seen, you know, these gigantic um, formations. Okay. That's enough of that. Species is the clouded leopard. I'm going to put a food tray right here. Water pipe. Let's see. Asia Tropical. Put it about here. I can't believe that. refuse to believe that um, clouded leopards ever hunted zebra, but this is apparently one of their enrichment objects. <sighs> Close enough. What can you do, man? I tried. I tried standing that thing up, but it would not stand up. Alright, and toys. Well, we're going to give them a hammock. In fact, I'm going to place the hammock right here in the middle of everything. this plant. Alright. What else do we get? Oh, they get a rubber ducky. Yeah, you know what? Since I gave them a lake, I'm going to give them a rubber ducky. What the hell? Um, all cats deserve a box. We're going to give them a a rubbing board, because why the heck not? Scratching post in the form of a tree. I did it again where I put my hands on the wrong freaking button. Another scratching post in the form of a tree. We're going to give them a ball and a couple of sprinklers. Now, nature continent is Asia, biome is tropical.
blueprints are off. Let's talk to the plants. tree that actually grows in the water so I'm gonna put one right there blocking the window uh, now let's move it back this way that's better Kapok trees are ridiculously huge, so I'm not exactly planning on adding them. But I do want to basically build a self-contained jungle here. give it a lot of cover maybe too much but if that is what happens then that is what happens I would prefer to have too much plant cover and have it actually look like a jungle than not give it enough. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense to me. You know? how they feel about their place. All right, climbing is good. I didn't add any more climbing toys, and I wanted to. Um, large animal climbing. Yeah, 
That's a large animal climbing frame, all right. Large animal, animal climbing frame. Primates. Monkeys. Okay, I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to take Mr. Weeping Willow here, and I'm going to move him over here. Okay. All right. And there you go. You see, you can you see the zookeeper. Zookeeper right on down the line. He's having no problem getting from one side to the other. This is a good thing. All right. Now, granted, this portion of the zoo seems almost empty at this point. I wonder where everybody is. Oh, they're over here looking at the lions and the gorillas and, you know, not a lot of people. Anyway, folks, um, there is our clouded leopard habitat. I hope you enjoyed watching me put it together. Uh, personally, I think it looks really, really good. The, the little skyway. Um, I, I may come back to this and decorate it a little maybe uh, uh, put some vines on it, you know, some overgrowth, things like that. Uh, but otherwise, I think, this, I think this habitat came out looking really, really well. Um, I really like how it came out. Next episode, we are going to do cheetahs, and I'm gonna put them, uh, I'm gonna put these cheetahs right in here, this area here, right across from the jaguars and next to the clouded leopards. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your attention, as I said at the beginning. Um, if you liked what I did here, please you know, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, last time I checked, I was only three away from 250 subscribers. That would be very exciting for me. Um, you know, Don't feel like you're obligated, but if you really like what I do, you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can always get notifications. Um, you know, and in the meantime, uh, be careful out there. We're almost out of the crisis. Almost. But not quite. It's still kind of dangerous out there. So be careful. And always be kind to one another. Because your life can change with a single act of kindness. Mine was. Mine was changed for the better. All because one person decided to be nice to me. So always be kind. Always take the time out to be kind. Folks, I will see you later. Bye-bye.